Hey, what's up guys? Got another topic for discussion today. Uh, today's topics are what your budget is every month or every year perhaps. And how do you just choose what to buy? Because there's so many shoes out there. Do you try to pick up everything or how do you filter out what you really like? What is a must cop versus an impulse buy for you? Again, there's so many shoes out there every freaking year. I'm showing you guys a slideshow of all the pickups I got in 2013. I'm assuming that I made a video for each of them, so hopefully I only had 25. I was watching our Yoanti sneaker chat and Nate or uh, indeed the 317 mentioned something just really important like sneaker buying is, a, is an obsession I guess. Personally I feel like buying online is so much easier than going actually in the store and giving out the cash or even credit card. A couple clicks and you're there. The only way I try to maintain my sneaker collection is by constantly buying and selling. So it's a continuous circulation, something that's old I don't like. Maybe I bought it and I regret it. I'm gonna ship them out to someone else that might appreciate them a lot more than me. I don't think I've ever reached the 50 mark. I'm always hovering around 40s. I'm gonna be setting a goal for myself. I'm aiming to get only four more pairs for the rest of the year. And those four pairs might actually be uh, more Kobe IDs. Just four more and that's it. I'm actually not looking forward to anything else for the rest of the year. As you can see through my slideshow, a lot of my shoes aren't even released from 2013. They may have been crazy deal or eBay steal, constantly eBay just to see deals off people, whether they're pre-owned or new with box. The next topic I want to touch on is just filtering out what is a must cop versus an impulse buy. Or is it just you're buying it because everybody's getting it? Like the general hype is forcing you to pick it up anyway, whether you like it or not. Uh, for me, I usually try to stick with shoes that are most comfortable for my feet and uh, definitely it's got to be lightweight, it's got to look good, it's got to perform well on court. Another reason for buying a ton of shoes is because I like to try a wide variety of shoes on court. Love basketball, suck at it, but I don't care. I like to tr test out the comfort and the traction on it. Um, I have two pairs of leaning, the villains and the, uh, what do you call them, the turning points. I got a ton of Nike, of course, I got some, I tried Adidas before, uh, I tried Under Armour, I had a pair of Spalding, definitely like to try out new things, maybe I'll discover something incredible, you know, like the leaning's pretty good actually. Have you ever tried to slow yourself down? I think I stopped for like a month, I believe, because I picked up my IEDs as you can see right there. Um, I only got two pairs that month. And I was really glad I held that goal. But then in April, I went off. I did the math and I get, on average, about four pairs of shoes a month if, you, if I'm going at this rate. Well, guys, this video is pretty much coming to an end. Let me know in the comments down below how many kicks you got. How do you filter out what you like and what you don't like? Or what's a must cop versus an impulse buy? And also, have yourself a great weekend.